far advanced are these ridiculous plans? Have you set a date? Have you decided on a church? We won't be getting married in a church. David's Jewish. Jewish? He's a Jew? You are aware, I take it, that the Jews killed our Lord? And you're aware, I suppose, that our Lord was Jewish? I suppose he told you that. We're all very sorry about what happened during the war, but that's absolutely no excuse for that sort of malicious and untruthful propaganda. Anyway, I can see you're far more in need of responsible advice than I realised. Nobody does anything worth doing without a degree. Nobody does anything worth doing with a degree. No woman, anyway. So what I do isn't worth doing, or what Miss Stubbs does, or Mrs Wilson, or any of us here. Because none of us would be here without a degree. You do realise that, don't you? And yes, of course, studying is hard and boring. Boring? I'm sorry? Studying is hard and boring. Teaching is hard and boring. So what you're telling me is to be bored and then bored and finally bored again, but this time for the rest of my life. This whole stupid country is bored. There's no life in it or colour or fun. It's probably just as well the Russians are going to drop a nuclear bomb on us any day now, so... My choice is to do something hard and boring or to marry my Jew and go to Paris and Rome and listen to jazz and read and eat good food in nice restaurants and have fun. It's not enough to educate us anymore, Miss Walters. You've got to tell us why you're doing it. It doesn't have to be teaching, you know. There's a civil service. I don't wish to be impertinent, Miss Walters. But it is an argument worth rehearsing. You never know, someone else might want to know the point of it all one day.